Section 9.1, Frequency Distributions and Measures of Central Tendency. Mean, Median, Mode, Oh My. Um, I'm pretty sure many of you are confident with this, uh, this stuff, so this will go pretty quickly. Uh, mean is a set of numbers, is the sum of all the numbers divided by the total number of numbers that we have. So let's find the mean from the group frequency distribution below. So these are the grouped frequency distribution for college credit. So this one might be a little bit more uh, difficult that you haven't uh, maybe have seen. So first we want to find the midpoint between each interval here. So the midpoint here would be um, 2, 7, 12, 17, 22, 27 and 32. Then I'm going to multiply uh, the frequency by the midpoint. So 6, 28, 72, 136, 110, 81, 32. So adding all those up, we'll get 465. We also need to add up all the frequencies, so how often this, those happened. So that would be 30. So then to find to find the uh, middle, then the mean, we would take 465 and divide it by 30. And this would give us 15.5 is the average. So it's a little different given a frequency table versus just straight up adding all of them and dividing. Median is defined as the middle entry in a set of data arranged in either increasing or decreasing order. If there is an even number of entries, the median is defined to be the mean of the two center entries. So I want to find the median of the set of data, 15, 13, 7, 11, 19, 30, 39, 5, and 10. So we'll first want to arrange them in numerical order. So I'm going to do 5, 7, 10, 11, 13, 15, 19, 30, and 39 is arranged in order. And then I'm just going to tick off one for one, one in the front, one in the back, until we reach the middle. And it looks like 13 will be the center of our data. Let's find the medium of the set of uh, numbers 47, 59, 32, 81, 74, and 153. So again, arranging them in order. 32, 47, 59, 74, 81, and 153. Again, ticking off one for one, one in the front, one in the back. I see that I now have two left over that we can't tick off because we're going to have nothing left. So in order to find the median, we'll have to add, add these two numbers up and find their average, so divide by 2. So this is 133 divided by 2, which is 66.5. Mode is found by selecting the most frequent entry. So find the mode. We have 57, 38, 55, 55, 80, 87. 98 and 55. So it looks like 55 shows up the most, so 55 is our mode. Find the mode of 182, 185, 183, 185, 187, and 187. So it looks like I have two 185s and two 187s. So both of them, since they both are frequent the same amount of times, um, 185 and 187 is the mode. Find the mode of 10,708, 11,519, 10,972, 17,546, 13,905, and 12,182. So I'm looking across and I see none that are repeated themselves. So in this case there would be no mode. Find the mean, median, and mode of the information in the table. So the storage time of vegetables and how many years they're in there. Um, so first of all, since I know I'm going to have to order them anyways, I'm going to set them into order. 
so one, I have two twos, two threes, four fours, and one five. So to find the mean, I have to add all these together. and then divide by, there's 10 of them. So if I add all these up together, it gets 32 divided by 10. So 3.2 is the average number of years for storage time. The median is the number in the middle. So since they're already arranged, I'm going to go ahead, cross one from the front, one from the back, until I get to the middle. Since we have 3 and 4, we'll have to add 3 plus 4 divided by 2 which is 7 over 2, or 3 and a half. And then the mode, the one that happens the most often, it looks like 4 is the one that happens the most often, so our mode is 4. And this concludes section 9.1, Frequency Distributions with Measures of Central Tendency.